In this video, I want to look at ways that we can use style sheets to make a print version of a web page. Now, I'm actually looking at the markup of a page I've made before. This is it. It's a page where I was going over various kinds of selectors you can use in CSS. And this is the way the page looks, of course, on a computer screen. Now, generally, when you go to any web page and you print that web page, you're going to get the same version that you see on the screen. So if I were to go to File, Print Preview, I would get the page here. Notice that my yellow text is very, very light. So if I was printing this on a color printer, that yellow text would pretty much be invisible. Even on a black and white laser, it might come out in such a light shade of gray that it would be illegible. Otherwise, things look pretty decent here, but it's still, it hasn't been designed for print. The colors I used were ideal for a computer screen, but I would like to prepare this site if somebody were to print it out in black and white. I'm going to go and close this. Let me give you an example of what sites don't do that they could easily do. So I'm going to jump over to CNN.com. So at CNN, there's a number of different articles. Now in this particular article, it's not that long. Um, there's a, it's an, it's an easily, it's a one-page article. And there's links and stuff, normal web page, news website things. But if I really like this article and I wanted to print it, this is how it would come out if I just click the print button on my browser. This is page one just the header information. Page 2 has a lot of the article that I'd like. You notice how some of the text over here is a little bit chopped off. Page 3 just has a search box. This is a consistent problem with even big-time, well-funded websites. They don't design their sites so that they are easily printed. Um, now let me close this for a moment. I know you're thinking, but wait, don't they always put those print buttons? Well, where is the little print button here at CNN? Um, ah, down here in very small text at the bottom, they have a print button. And this button will take me to a print-friendly version of the web page. My point is, is that websites don't need to do this. They don't have to have two different web pages to make a print-friendly version. Plus, by doing this, it requires your website visitors to do something unusual. Why not use the print button that comes with their browser? Let me try that again. CNN, if you were to just to print their page using the print button in your browser, you would waste two extra sheets of paper you'd also get information that's unnecessary. No matter how hard you try, hyperlinks on a printed sheet of paper are ineffectual. Something else. If I print out this article and share it with a friend and they see, wow, careerbuilder.com and they ultimately go to this website, CNN has just provided free advertising because the person who goes to Career Builder because of the ad they saw in the printed version isn't going to get any credit to CNN for displaying that ad. So there's very little value in displaying advertisements on a printed web page. There's no value of displaying navigation menus on a printed web page. There's no value of formatting hyperlinks on a printed web page. There's no value in providing linked video content on a printed web page. There's no value in providing a search box on a printed web page. CNN could make some easy fixes to this. So let's, let's see what they could do. Now, this is the way my page looks right now. Let me go back to this. There we go. And here's the markup for it. Now, to really get this working, I'm going to put my style sheets on a separate file. Right now, I'm using what are called embedded styles. But now, I'd like to use linked styles or external styles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the styles, the style rules that are currently in the embedded style tags of my page. I'm going to cut them out. So now my styles are gone, and I'm going to open up a new file and paste them on there. Now all of my style rules are on a separate file, and I'm going to go ahead and save this. 
as screen version dot CSS. So I have a screen version of my CSS file. Now back on my web page, since I'm no longer using embedded styles, I'm going to refer to my linked style sheet. There we go. The link tag tells the browser that I have an external style sheet linked over to this web page. Its file is called screenversion.css. Now since I have the link tag on my web page and my CSS file is here with all the appropriate rules and I've saved them, when I hit refresh we're not going to see a change. Everything is fine. This is the ideal way of managing multiple web pages with one CSS file because then if I make a change here the changes will be reflected on all of my pages whether I have two pages or two hundred pages. Now that I have a print CSS version, or I'm sorry, now that I have a screen version, I can make a print version. I need to tell my web page about my two versions though. For this link tag, I'm going to put in media equals screen. Media equals screen tells the browser that this CSS file should only be used when I'm looking at the web page on a computer screen. I'm going to go and copy this link tag. paste it and my next one will be print. And instead of referring to my screen version CSS, I'll refer to a print version, which I have yet to make. So here's the screen version of my CSS file. Now I'm going to click File, Save As, and I'm going to create the print version. When you want to make a print friendly web page, what I suggest you do is go ahead and create the web page just as you would normally on the computer screen. And then take your screen version CSS file, save it with a different name, and start to change things one by one to make them print friendly. So I have my web page. It's referring to two CSS files. On screen, it'll be my screen version CSS. And when printed, it'll be my print version CSS.